Our, our, our Tiger team just recently arrested Curtis Belton for five different armed robbery incidents across the city in three different districts. The great thing about that arrest was that it really shows the collaboration between our target unit and our district DIU investigators. District DIU investigators actually put Belton out wanted for those crimes. The Tiger team received information on where he was hiding and they were able to set up a surveillance and capture him. He's also a suspect in several other armed robberies across the city. So that's one thing that we did a better job in 2016 was identifying those trends across district lines and being able to hunt those armed robbers down and capture them. And that's something we look to build on in 2017. And that's going to be done with our Tiger Group and also our district investigators who are our primary source of investigation on these cases. Were those district investigators able to make the link between districts? Or did the Tiger team do that? Well, the, the, the best part about that is we did it together. We, we were collaborating now. So before before we started this, this, this approach, every each district kind of worked on these cases individually. Now, all of the district investigators and the Tiger team work together and they're able to collaborate. So they were really able to make the to make those links by working together. And that, that's the, the, the beauty of our plan. That's why it's so successful, is we don't just have one individual entity working on these cases. Everybody comes together and able to be like force multipliers to be able to expand our resources and identify these criminals and capture them. So, so far this year, um, and I don't have a number, I can find it out, obviously, but I mean, what have you, what have you seen as far as armed robbery so far this year? Do you think it's like a lot has happened? Well, we only, you know, we're only in four days of the year, so, you know, I really try to stay focused on trends as opposed to spikes. And so, you know, when, when crime does spike from time to time, but we stay focused on long-term trends. And I think what you're going to see in 2017 is, you know, we had a 10% decrease, in our, over a 10% decrease in our robberies in 2016, and we're going to try to build upon that in 2017. That 10% decrease that's across the board? Well, across the, the, city. the 10% decrease was in the 7th district, but we had a 12% decrease in all robberies across the city. Okay. And, and you credit a lot to the Tiger team for that decrease? Well, not just the Tiger team. You know, the Tiger team is a part of that, but it was the collaboration with our district investigators working together with the Tiger team. So it's the collaboration between all eight districts and our special operations division all working together. You've answered this question before, but when it comes to the Tiger team and looking into the future for 2017, um, how important is it? Because, and if you could elaborate on, these criminals are crossing district lines. They're not just staying in one neighborhood, and, and a lot of times they're not even from that neighborhood where they commit the crimes. Can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. So that's something we certainly recognize. And under the leadership of Superintendent Harrison, he's recognized the importance of, of groups like the Tiger team. So we're going to do things to make that a more robust unit. We're taking it a, a lieutenant who is working kind of part-time on the Tiger unit. He's going to be assigned full-time as of next week um, on the Tiger team. And further down the line, we're going to be adding more and more resources to the Tiger team to make that a more robust unit.